Submix tracks are an extremely useful track type new in Mixcraft 6. Just like a hardware mixing console, you can easily route multiple tracks to a single submix. Some typical uses would be grouping similar child tracks to clean up the project interface, using a submix track to control volume for an entire set of child tracks with a single volume slider, applying an effect to multiple tracks at once, easily routing multiple tracks to a specified output bus, muting or soloing a group of tracks with a single button, applying pan, volume, or effect automation to multiple tracks at once. Here we have a project with a total of 33 tracks, which include drums, guitars, bass, synths, and vocals. With so many tracks, it can get tedious to scroll up and down while working or adding an effect to the entire drum kit or all vocal tracks. The solution? Submix tracks. First I want to clean up the interface, so I'll add a submix track, which can be done in multiple ways. You can click the track button, add submix track, or you can click the track menu item, insert track, or you can right click on any track header and insert track, choose submix track. Going to rename this drums, maybe change the icon so I can quickly reference the track later on. Then I'll simply take each drum track and drag it up into the submix until you see it seat itself. Scroll down, keep dragging each one in there. Hi hat, my overheads. And that's it for the drum kit. Now I can collapse this and I have my entire drum set in one submix. Now I'll do the same thing for my synths. Rename it. Drag each track into the submix. Now I can collapse that one. You can see my interface is being cleaned up nicely. So we'll do the same thing for the guitars and bass. Just call that guitars. Drag each track up inside that submix. Collapse that. Do the same thing for the vocals. I like to call vocals just Vox. And that's all. Now I have a project that only contains four tracks. And I can expand them if I need to work on the child tracks. Let's say for some reason I wanted all of my drums to go to my left speaker. So I'm going to insert an output bus track and set that to go to my left speaker. Now I can take this submix track and go to the mixer, change its output to output bus 1. Now if I play this, let me solo the drum track. So I can route the entire drum set, which is how many ever tracks that is, 10, to any output available on my computer. Another great thing I can do with the submix track is solo or mute the entire drum set with a single button. I can change the track volume with automation for all of these child tracks at one time can also pan them left and right all at once. I can also add any amount of effects to the entire submix. This is especially useful for drums for me because I want to compress the entire drum set anyway. And rather than putting a compressor plug-in on every single drum track, now I'm just doing it to the submix.
much easier. And finally, as you are mixing your project, it's much easier to move a single volume slider to raise up all the guitars or drums or vocals than it is to go through and raise up each separate child track. So as you can see, submix tracks are an excellent addition to Mixcraft 6 and will easily speed up your mixing and project completion time. Thanks for watching and using Mixcraft 6.